Hey, fellow rock lovers and cabochon makers, look at this beautiful slab. Ooh, I made this myself from a beautiful agate I found out on the Coconut 06 Ranch near Alpine, Texas. It is stunning. Look at the detail in there. Wow. Well, now that we have this beautiful slab, let's see if we can turn it into a beautiful cabochon. What I'm going to do is draw a shape on this thing. I'll show you what that looks like before we move on with the cabbing process. Well, how do you like that shape? It's kind of a cool cabochon shape. Got that from one of my templates. Looks like it has some of the nice features included. You can see the banding that'll be on this side and then these interesting inclusions over here. Yeah, I like that. Well, let me go ahead and get this thing trimmed on the trim saw. I'll get it shaped and then dopped and we'll meet again over at the cabbing machine. Beginning as usual on the 80 grit wheel for the basic shaping. Here's how it looks dry. I've got my dome going. The next wheel is the 220 grit wheel. Let's clean up some of those scratches. Here's how it looks. It's got a nice shape. No shine yet. Next up is the 280 grit soft wheel. I'm gonna push in hard here, get rid of any faceting. Now it should look nice and smooth. Oh, slight reflection, that's a good sign. Our next wheel is the 600 grit wheel. Normally we start to get a shine here, let's see. Okay, now the reflection's starting. Shop lights are showing up nicely. That's just 600 grit. Let's move on to the next wheel, the 1200 grit. This should really make it shine, let's see. Oh yeah, check it out. Those light reflections are starting to pop. Well, let's move on. The 3000 grit wheel is next. What will this do for our polish? Ooh, look at that. After 3000 grit. And remember, I always show these dry. That looks pretty good, but let's see if we can do any better on the wet belt sander. I'll jump on the cerium belt, spend a few minutes here. And for our final polish, wow. This stone takes a great shine. Oh, I could not be happier with the polish on it. That's a mirror-like reflection. There's the hand. Let's, let's check the fingernails. They look pretty good. I love that little trick. Okay, enough of this. Let's take this inside now and take a closer look. The coconut cabochon is all finished. Check it out. What do you think? Ooh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Took an awesome shine and I think a great shape. I'm happy with that. Not my standard oval shape that I seem to use way too often. I'm using a backlit panel as a backdrop, hoping to bring out some of the, some of the detail within that chalcedony. I think it's doing an okay job. Wow, look at that. You could just get lost in there. This is how we started. Still a pretty stone, but much nicer when you go through seven different grits. Don't you agree? Yeah, that's a good one. Like that Coconato 6 Ranch Agate. I got lots more of it to play with as well. Thanks again for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you. And if you liked it, please remember to check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.